Okay, last time we were talking a little bit about a little mini history lesson of, you know, why in the world we're doing all of this. And we talked about how we have this theorem that says whatever the degree is of your polynomial, you can only have that many zeros, no more. Well, you know, a long time ago then when they were, you know, learning these things, they said, okay, so if we look at something like this, we know now, because of the degree, that we can only have, at most, five real zeros. Let me erase this off of here. Okay, great. This is a degree five polynomial. So we have, at most, five zeros. Now there could be fewer than that, but there can't be any more than that. So now, as they're sitting down, they need to try and figure out what they are. Well, after working many, many, many problems, they figured out a, pro a, a, a little bit of a shortcut, sort of. And this is called the potential rationals. Now, in order to um, do our potential rationals, find them, our possibilities, here's what they did. They took that last number, and this has to be written in the proper descending order. But they took that, la that constant term, and they listed out all of the factors of that constant term, and they called it P. So for us, in our example here, P would have to be plus or minus 1 and plus or minus 3. Those are the only factors of 3. If you think about it, you know, if you were to, to factor it normally, you'd say, well, 3 is 1 times 3. So either one of these could be positive or negative. This negative times negative would be positive also. Okay, so they did that. Then they said, okay, our leading coefficient, we're going to factor that and call it Q. So in our case, our Q is, or our, our leading coefficient is 1. Well, the only factors of that are 1 times 1. So our factors that will be Q is plus or minus 1. So P is the factors of the constant term. Q is the factors of the leading coefficient. Now, our potential rationals, this would be the place that they would start looking for zeros. Um, oh, ration, sorry about that rationals. Couldn't spell for the moment. Our potential rationals will be all of the combinations of the P's over the Q's. So the first one I'm going to start out with is the 1 and put that over the Q's. So 1 over 1 would be 1. Next would be the 3. 3 over 1 would be 3. So these are our possibilities of rational zeros. Now what they would do at this point is they would take those and they would start trying them. Is a positive 1 a zero of that function? And if not, they would try the negative 1 and so on and so forth until they found them. Now, we are not going to attempt to find them. This lesson is just designed to help you figure out the potential rationals, the possibilities. We're not actually finding them at this point.